I keep hearing the same type of reasons for people leaving. Interesting. Please explain who they are. So Ludwig is the fifth highest earning creator on Twitch, for those who don't know. Um, he broke the sub record. Was that last year or this year? What is time? He broke the record uh, on Twitch for the most subs on the platform during his 30 day. Was that this year? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, his during his marathon subathon. And then he's like, peace out. See you later. <laughs> I'm going to YouTube. Thanks, Twitch. Broke your records. I'm bouncing now. Um, so yeah, that's Ludwig. He is um so the interesting thing about Ludwig is he's not a traditional streamer. Uh, he's not someone who plays video games all the time, and that's how he grew and became popular. He does a lot of just chatting, um, and just chatting is the most popular category in Twitch most of the time. It's it's one of the top fives, at least. Um, and uh, I'm not really sure how he blew up. Um, I think it was just like associating with, you know, like, like climbing up. Um, but yeah, he's been on Twitch for about three to four years, I think. So not even that long, really, um, comparatively to a lot of the big names. Um, you know, his his growth and success has been rapid. Um, so a little background for those who don't know who we're talking about today. And that's why it's significant. It's not just, oh, Joe Schmo's leaving and going to YouTube. Like, this is one of Twitch's top creators on the platform. Uh, not only by viewership, but also by the revenue that he's brought in. Um, so it is a big move um, to to have Ludwig leave leave Twitch. Um, so let me gather my resources here. I guess we could go over like a the article. We have an article from The Verge. So we can go through that first, and then we'll we'll hear from the horse's mouth. I always say that. Jesus. Sorry, that was loud. I don't know why it's so loud. Okay. And we'll, we'll, we'll listen to Ludwig talk about why he left. <laughs> uh, what's up, Teddy? Was it in Smash Bros? Was it? Let's see. Let's see what The Verge says. Let's see if The Verge has anything to contribute to this... Uh, this story here. Loud noise. Good morning, GV. I'm glad you're awake now. Um, so there is a trailer that he posted, but I, I, I don't really care about that, honestly. I don't know. It's like a creative thing, but I don't really care to watch it. Um, so, oh yeah, it did take place earlier this year. It wasn't even that long ago. It was like, wasn't it in August? What's up, Booker? Is moving from Twitch to stream exclusively on YouTube gaming. A uh, lot of first stream on YouTube will take place yesterday. Ludwig leaves behind a significant presence on Twitch. He has 3.1 million followers and Twitch trackers metrics indicate he has more than 27,000 subscribers as of this writing. And by the end of his subathon, he had broken the all time Twitch sub record. Tw uh, Twitch tracker says he peaked at 283,000 subscribers. That's that. Uh, I didn't even know that. That's actually insane. Insane. That is not, that's not YouTube subscribers. That is Twitch. You paid $5 subscribers. Okay. That is wild. Ludwig is the latest streamer to move from Twitch to YouTube as of late, following Dr. Lupo and Tim the Tatman jumps in August and September. YouTube also brought over Courage in 2019 um, and Valkyrie in 2020. So he's lost more subs than anyone also. <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> um, so let's uh, let's watch this video of um, of Ludwig talking about why he left Twitch. This video came out two days ago and already has garnered a million views a million and one views now with us watching this okay 
And I'll try not to wreck your ears this time. This to you guys at some point, I'm going to hit the stop streaming button forever. But I promise it won't be today. And it won't be tomorrow. My ears. Oh, please. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Oh, please. It's Come weird on. to say, but the hardest decision I ever made was picking between YouTube and Twitch. It doesn't it seem like it should be. Feels like there should have been harder things. There's like breakups. One. I had to choose what college I went to, what job I had, where I moved. Those were scary too, but... This feels like I'm giving up the most. Because Twitch means a lot to me. I love Twitch. I really do. And before anyone just thinks that the reason What's up, I not Bay? was because of money, let me sit you down. And let me tell you exactly what happened. You see, my partner contract with Twitch ended in November. It actually ended right around when I was in Italy. And during those times, I was talking to Twitch and I was talking to YouTube, as you do. And originally, I was like, I'm just going to chat with YouTube to leverage the deal, to buff my Twitch deal, and then stay with Twitch. Because I'm a Twitch guy. Makes sense. There are people out there who think of Twitch and they think of me. When I think of my own identity, I, I think of Twitch. Is his camera blurry to... Is that me? It's like the camera is focusing on his mic arm. I don't know. Do I need glasses? It is and out of I focus. He is out of chatting. focus. I'm not crazy. Chatting. And the more I did, the more I realized that YouTube made more sense for me. Like, I love streaming. But what actually Okay, this is I'm going to I'm just going to speed it up slightly just to make sure we get through this. Okay, you, you shouldn't even notice the difference. He makes me the happiest is just making dope shit. Making things that I think are cool and hopefully some other people out there think they're cool too. Things like Mogul Money, things like the the Christmas album, you know? The the kickball tournament, any of these ideas that take a lot more time and effort than just booting up stream and reacting to something or playing Super Auto Pets or whatever. Is what, what makes me fucker. happy. Do you want to watch my Ludwig left? And if I stayed yeah. with Twitch, the we the, I, like I can't get into the specifics, but the way the deal was structured is I would have to be grinding hours. Again, I, I can't get into the details. But YouTube offered me more money than Twitch. I'll just say straight up, they offered me more money. I don't doubt this because, um, Disguised Toast was saying uh, there was a clip that went out of Disguised Toast saying that. Twitch lowballed him so hard on his contract. And I've heard from, um, I, I, I've heard this several times and I can't even remember the streamers who have said this. Um, I think that's why Ninja left as well. Like uh, Twitch does not match YouTube. They won't match YouTube. Not even close, I think, for a lot of people. Um, I think the people that choose to stay on Twitch and get and, and get that deal with Twitch, right? Where they do the whole... If there's an announcement about a big creator from Twitch and that creator saying that they're staying on Twitch, they have signed a deal. They get paid to stay on Twitch, okay? Just so you guys know, if you're not aware of when that happens, that is what is happening, is that creator has been signed by Twitch to stay, right? I think that most of those creators... First of all, if they didn't go and leverage YouTube and Facebook to try to get a better deal, like that's a huge mistake, obviously. Um, but if they chose to stay, I highly doubt it's because of the money. I think it's like having that security obviously is nice, but I think it's because they don't want to leave. Like they are loyal to Twitch in a sense or they just don't want to leap move the platform and they just want that paycheck. So I, I like what he's saying about YouTube um, offering him more money. Like, I think that is that is the norm. Like YouTube is definitely paying more and, and Facebook is as well. In both platforms had me streaming the same amount of hours. That was the original deal. And even then with the same amount of money, 
I talked to every single person I knew. My mom, I talked to like all the creators I respect. I talked to Mizkif for advice. Mizkif, I was like, hey, can you give me advice, Mizzy? And he's like, what the hell are you talking to me for? I don't know. I don't know. I called up old friends. I called up Bobby Scar. I, I talked to everyone I knew because I, I, was, I, I was at a loss. But I ended up deciding to go with Twitch, which might seem backwards after the news, after what you've probably seen. Because that's not what reality is now. Oh, this is interesting. Did not expect this. He ended up de deciding to stay with Twitch. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. Did not see that coming. I was like, wait, Twitch? You mean YouTube, right? After I decided, the, the main decision maker, I didn't know what to do after talking to all those people. So I did what I normally do. I flipped the coin. What? I even recorded the entire thing. I basically made the biggest decision of my life for a content coin flip. Heads, what? I go to YouTube. Tails, I stay on Twitch. Now, surprisingly, you might have noticed that it landed on Twitch. Yet, this is not the news story that came out today. Ludwig resigned with Twitch. That's kind of not that exciting. What is happening right now? And that's because right after the coin flip, I felt a wave of relief, which made me think it was the right decision. And so I was happy with it. And I went to the guys at YouTube and I, and I said, look, I want to hop on a call with you guys because I, I respect you. I think you guys are doing cool things at YouTube. I really do think that, but I'm going with Twitch. And they fought for me. And I realized in that moment that even though I've been with Twitch for three plus years, even though people call me the golden boy of Twitch, I've never felt like the golden boy of Twitch. I've never felt particularly loved by Twitch. I love Twitch, but it hasn't been a two-way street. You know, I, it sounds so selfish, right? It's kind of surprising because, like, he gets a ton of opportunities, right? Like... I mean, he is definitely one of those streamers that is like the go-to for things, but like, we don't know what happens behind the scenes. I mean, for his level, he has, I mean, let's be honest, it is a numbers game. Like he is a big creator. He can demand more and want more from the company he works with. Like smaller creators, like, you know, as a smaller creator watching this, you're like, oh my God, you, you, you are the fifth earning streamer on Twitch. What more could you want? Like, oh my God, like you get all these opportunities. And like, I mean, yeah, that's definitely one way to look at it. Um, but, you know, there's probably more behind the scenes that like, you know, I mean, he has that, he does have the leverage. And if YouTube can offer him more, a more personal connection and like more leverage to do things together and like shape the platform, like, I mean, that is something that I think a lot of creators uh, would love to be a part of, right? So that that is, like, interesting. It's like there's two feelings when you hear that. I mean, at, the, at least for me. Hey, like, I'm making a shit ton of money. I, 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 a lot of people, I have a lot of fans. I literally just said this. Everything's going well. <laughs> but I feel like a whiny eight-year-old child who just wants some approval from a parent. And I never got that. I never got reached out to after the subathon. Not even like a, hey, you made us the most money anyone has ever made us in a month. Thanks. None of that. I mm. never got anything. But I love the culture of Twitch. But YouTube, they gave me something when I came back. It was like some insane accidental negotiation tactic. They allowed me to stream way less hours a month. And that maybe you're thinking, are you just trying to, you know, rest invest, as they say, basically do less work and get more money, but it gives yeah. you more time to do cool shit that I'm super yeah. excited about. Who would not want that? Who would not want that? Like, if you have to do the same amount of hours for both platforms, I would rather have, I mean, it sounds like Ludwig is getting less hours and more money. Or I guess when you, you know, scale it, you know, it just is more money. But I would totally take less hours for exactly what he's saying, because like, you have the, um, like the, the security of getting paid and you get to do so much more than, than just like, you know, stream, like, especially like with creators burning out and like Ludwig is like the type of creator who does more than just sitting and playing games, right. Or sitting and just chatting. Like he does a lot of creative events. He wants less hours so he can do what he wants instead of grinding hours. Exactly. Gives me more time to work on the yard. 
Make a new mogul money show that I can actually do every single week. And I don't have to go live trying to fill hours so I can make enough money so I can do these cooler ideas. I want to make the biggest smash tournament in the world. And I'm going to in 2022. I want to have the biggest prize pool, the most entrance ever for Melee and Ultimate. I want to do that. But this is going to cost me probably a million dollars. Oh, okay. So he did get big through Smash. Someone did say that. Okay, I didn't I didn't know that. So thank you, whoever said that in the chat. That's that good to know. Ludwig's mindset is literally my mindset, except I don't have a paid contract. I still have to stream. Like, you know, <laughs> I don't have any security. But he has the same idea. It's like you want that security and you want to be able to still stream, but you want more flexibility to do other things. I like literally I have the same mindset, but I'm like <laughs> all the way down here. And I was thinking of ways to make a million dollars so that I could spend a million dollars without it being dumb. And I was thinking about doing another subathon. I was thinking about doing like a subathon in person, I, some expansion on the idea when I decided to go with Twitch because I needed more money to be able to do a cool idea like that. I was like, why, why am I giving up a month of my life? And so I went to Twitch and I did the same thing that I did with YouTube. I said, hey, I decided on YouTube. What do you think? And no disrespect to the guys I talked to or Twitch as a whole. The guys who I talk to don't get to decide everything. They are not Twitch. Twitch is a giant multi-thousand employee company. There's 18 pipelines, things have to go through before they can get done. You, know, it, you have an idea, it won't be executed for 10 months and it will look nothing like what you originally thought. I know all this. But it still fucking hurt when they said, we wish you the best. And so although I love Twitch, and I always thought of myself as a Twitch guy, they're not going to help me make the shit I want to make. I don't feel especially liked, respected, wanted. And I also don't want to do something because it's comfortable. The main thing holding me back from YouTube was fear. YouTube's not Facebook, no offense. <laughs> not <laughs> Mixer. It's fucking YouTube. It's like the biggest website yes. in the world for posting content. It's bigger than Twitch, you know what I mean? Like, not for streaming specifically, but as a creator, it's so I much bigger. I made a pros and cons list, and the one con I had for YouTube is that I'd feel alone. And I'm still scared. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. Oh my god, I have allergies. Okay, I didn't. I missed this part. And I made a pros and cons list, and the one con I had for YouTube is that I'd feel alone. Feel alone. And I'm still scared of that. He's not going to be alone for long, let me tell you. He's not going to be alone for long, man. His whole circle is now connected to YouTube. His whole circle of creators, a ton of top creators, are now connected to YouTube. Some might consider going on on their own. I mean, I doubt they'll do that without trying to get a contract. But some of the creators he's friends with or, you know, works with, uh, they don't have that signed contract with Twitch. They could jump over to YouTube. Um, and, um, I think they'll, they'll actually treat you two more seriously now. I don't think he's going to be alone. Not only that, but also like there are more creators moving over a lot more creators moving over. We're going to talk about that at the end of this video, but people are jumping ship. Uh, YouTube is, is poaching. It is poaching the right word. YouTube is poaching and, or signing Twitch's creators like left and right. I mean, they they saw that top 10 of, of highest earning creators. They're like, come on over. But it's crazy not to do something just because you're scared. Everything else makes it seem like the right decision. He's going to be so fine. Like, he's going to so be totally fine. If it takes a coin flip in an insane negotiation tactic for me to stop being a pussy, then so be it. I don't know if this will be cohesive. I'm recording this right after my last ever Twitch stream. And now I'm a YouTube gaming streamer. And I don't even play video games. <laughs> I don't think they know about that yet, but let's just keep that a secret. You know what? That's that's also an interesting thing. Why is it called YouTube gaming? They have to rename that at this point. Like, you don't sign over someone who doesn't play games and to YouTube gaming. I mean, just chatting is a huge category. And I mean, YouTube is bigger than gaming. I think they did it because they wanted to compete with Twitch, and that was the easiest way to name it, name the platform. Um, I think they should just call it YouTube Streaming or YouTube Live. 
That's my... That's my, uh, opinion. I've worked really hard, by the way, if you guys haven't heard, with Auto. We made an extension together that's just trying to make the experience on YouTube better. So, all those subs that you had on Twitch are now combined with subs on YouTube, the memberships. The name you have, you can now change it to your Twitch name if you want. The emotes will be exactly like Twitch emotes. I just want to make it as seamless as possible. Because I don't want to lose chat along the way. That's the reason I like streaming. I lose chat, I lose the, the, the love I have for streaming. And I promise that extension will only get better. So if you guys haven't already, check it out. It's honestly worth your while. Auto put a lot of time into it. We're going to start adding some cool features like channel points. But it'll be our own custom channel points. So I'll be able to scale the economy because we'll have the whole back end to ourselves. On band forms coming in, included in the the overall package. There's also things I haven't talked about. Some secrets and surprises. Maybe you guys will find out. But I can promise you one thing. I've been streaming for about four years part-time. Almost four years full-time. And I said I'd only stream five. I'm sorry to say I'm scamming you one more time. I'll be here for at least six. Anyway, boys, I hope you understand a little bit more. He just said at least six. So is this... Does that mean that's a two-year YouTube deal that he just signed, right? Because he just said, yeah, it is to Zorian. It's slightly sped up so that, you know, because there's a lot of pausing and stuff. So it's a two-year contract. Yeah, right? Hopefully you respect the decision. And hopefully you come to hang out on YouTube Gaming. Uh, I've always been like that's, a that's streamer huge. and a YouTuber. That's a huge. A lot of streamers can say the same. And that's always going to be the, the, the same case. I'm still going to be a streamer. And I'm still going to be a YouTuber. And I'm going to try to make even cooler shit this year. Thanks for watching as always, boys. I can't believe this whole video has been blurry. <laughs> like a million views, the whole, it's out of focus the whole time. Um, so, okay, so that was pretty succinct, honestly. Um, that was, that was succinct. So, um, He's going to be totally fine. So he's so this is on his channel that has 154k subs, but he has he has another channel, right? Um So what what channel does he stream on? The 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 only thing that I get confused with with YouTube is like the channels are separate channels, but This this channel only has four four videos. channels what is happening i'm so confused where is his main channel his main channel has two million oh yeah so he's probably streaming off this channel i don't know why he posted it over there maybe he's just trying to grow that new channel um two million youtube subs I mean, this is why he's going to be totally fine because like he's going to be he's tapping into I don't know how many how many followers does he have on um on Twitch? Does it actually say he has 3.1 million followers? OK, so he's got less on um he's got less on YouTube, but um not by much and not for long, I don't think. So he's going to be totally fine. I mean, he's he's tapping into two million subscribers. I wonder what the follower reaches for like going live notifications are on YouTube and how that works. Um, admittedly, like, you know, YouTube gaming, I'm not as savvy on, but, um, you know, I do know on Twitch, the uh, follower reach is like, it depends on the streamer. His is probably like 50% or something, but I do wonder how those going live notifications work for, for YouTube if you subscribe to someone. Um, so yeah, he's going to be totally fine. Like he's going to do well. Um, he, he honestly will probably just grow. Like his YouTube's going to grow faster because he's now tapping into the live streaming and the videos and it's connected. Like, um, I think that his, his viewership will probably, will probably just grow in my opinion. Um, most creators who, most of the big creators who get signed to YouTube actually do better, um, than they do on Twitch. So I don't see why his case would be any different. Um, he's gonna be totally fine. So 
uh we ha i have some more clips to go through here so tim uh tim the tap man um was watching this and reacting to it um i'm how do i just stop this i want to hide the chat okay i'll just go full screen here multi -thousand so tim the tap man was watching uh ludwig's video so let's uh let's let's listen into his reaction to what he was saying here just 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 a short clip an employee company there's 18 pipelines things have to go through before they can get done you know it, you have an idea it won't be executed for 10 months and it will look nothing like what you originally thought i know all this but it still fucking hurt when they said we wish you the best Interesting. <laughs> now, what's interesting about this whole thing, obviously, I had my own kind of, I had my own decision-making process with YouTube and Twitch, right? All I'll say is, I know Lud's been on Twitch for, I think he said three or four years. I was on Twitch for about eight or nine years. And uh, similar storyline, man similar storyline that's all multi thousand i love that youtube has clips now that's fantastic um so so to the time man says similar storyline man similar storyline um so that's that's super interesting because you know tim tim the tad man to me was so ingrained like i would i did not picture tim the tad man leaving twitch um, when he did that, I was like, all right, and anyone is game to leave at this point. Like when he left, I mean, to me, he is like, I mean, he is Twitch OG, you know, if, if YouTube can pull Tim, he like YouTube is, can pull anyone at this point. And, um, they're definitely not stopping there. Uh, so I actually have to go and find this tweet cause I did not put it down here. Don't worry. It's, it's in my recent tweets here not that far okay so uh here we go ryan wyatt is the head of youtube gaming so he is kind of in charge of the direction of the platform um when he announced uh ludwig moving over to youtube gaming he says and i have to reiterate we still aren't done yet we still aren't done yet um more more is happening it's not over yet and uh i also have this clip from moist critical but uh, the... who who added some of his own commentary and gives us a little a little teaser maybe a little inside knowledge of uh of of what's what's to come still so let's let's listen in on this hopefully it's not too loud i'm sorry volume problems but the Actual people that make the important decisions don't give a fuck about like what streamers do on their platform. They don't get excited and they don't like fight for streamers. Ludwig is the number six earning streamer on all of Twitch. And they weren't ready to fight for him. On Stan's show, he mentioned he wanted one feature from Twitch, and this probably would have kept him here. He wanted Twitch to cap the amount of gift subs his channel could receive because he felt guilty when people would donate too much money to him through gift subs. So he asked them, can you just cap it for my channel? And they said no. They wouldn't budge on anything. Okay, so... <laughs> I mean, do you think Twitch is going to be like, no, we're going to cap how much money we can make on your channel. You're our, one of our top 10 earning streamers and we're going to cap that. No, they're not going to do that. I mean, not only that, but also like, they would have had to build that specifically. And that's like a lot of resources to to hinder their money i mean i mean i i guess I, do, I i don't know i feel like i just i can't fault twitch because um it just wouldn't make sense for them to do um i don't see twitch creating any sort of tools that will hinder how much money they make i mean twitch is I feel like um, Twitch has cut off subs. The money they make from subs is probably far better than what they make from, um, you know, like like bits, adding that little fee on bits. Like, I think their cut is, is much better for subs. So, I, I mean, I... Okay, anyways. 
So that's one part of that. And then we get a little, we get a little, a little teaser here at the end here about uh, what, what could happen next. And then when he did say, like he just mentioned here, I'm going to YouTube, they're totally fine with it. I think Twitch believes they're in this position where they're a monopoly, so losing Ludwig's not a big deal. He also mentioned he talked to people, so I'll talk about it. A lot of streamers have been talking to each other about switching platforms, and a couple of them have made that decision, and I think a lot of you are going to be shocked at the next couple that are leaving. It's Twitch... The next couple that are leaving. The next couple. Okay, there's more coming, and it sounds like it's pretty soon, too. Um, just by the fact that Ryan, uh, the head of YouTube gaming, is teasing it, uh, and uh, this comes out from Moist Critical, like, announcement in the next month or two for more biggies. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would say probably, um, I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's more this year, for sure. So, now you guys have gotten all of the facts. You've, you've, you've gotten the insight. We've learned a little bit about... Uh, we tapped into Ludwig's mind a little bit. So I'm trying to find some music. Did things move around? Where's my happy playlist? Where, where's my happy playlist? Did they move the playlist around? Where I can't find it. Ah, oh, here it is. My nice happy. Okay, so... Who do you guys think is next? Who do you guys think is leaving? Now, Moist Critical says that we're going to be surprised by who's leaving. To me, that's, that says OGs. That says long-time um, Twitch people. I, I, I need to get a list of who has signed with Twitch and when. You think it's Pokimane? No, 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 no. Pokimane just signed um, with Twitch. I would say Summit. I can't remember if Summit has a deal with Twitch. I thought you were leaving for YouTube. <laughs> you just made the list. I think um, Pokemon just recently signed. Not Lyric. You don't think Lyric? I think Summit's deal expired. Let's Google Summit Twitch deal. In May 2020, Summit signed a multi-year contract with Twitch. So that doesn't seem like that's that makes sense because that timeline doesn't work out. I would be shocked if Booker left. Um, XQC is, I think, the second highest earning on Twitch, but I don't, I can't picture YouTube like wanting to seek out XQC, you know what I mean? Like, and I don't think that would be a surprising pool anyways. I don't think if XQC left, I don't think it'd be like, oh my God, that's so shocking. I, I don't know. I just don't really, that, that doesn't make sense to me. Um, Asmongold? I don't think Asmongold really, I don't think, I don't think Asmongold makes sense. Top Twitch streamers. Top 20 Twitch streamers. Uh, no, this is old. November 2021. Let's look at the top streamers here. Um, okay, okay, okay. Here's, here's an idea. Um, I don't think, I don't know, like, I don't know how many people care about this. I mean, I personally don't, but... If we look at the top streamers, okay, on Twitch from November 2021, okay, so the blah blah, blah esports, blah blah blah. Okay, look at these. I don't know. I yes, okay. So these are all Minecraft, huge Minecraft creators. <laughs> AOC is going to YouTube. <laughs> these are massive mine, and they're massive on YouTube. If they, if if YouTube pulled the Minecraft community the Minecraft streaming community back over to YouTube. I mean, that would be, I think, I think that would be a huge shift for just the streaming culture. Um, if you pulled these, I think, I think this guy does Minecraft. If you pulled these Minecraft creators, I don't know who they are. You don't know who they are, but they are huge. They are massive mega stars. This dream guy has like 4 million followers on Twitter. I mean, I, I, 
Unfortunately, I have to see tweets about them all the time because when you search for topics and you look at the Twitch topic, it's always like, giving out a sub to Dream. Follow here, reply. I'm going to give out some subs. I don't know. I have no I have no hate against them at all. I don't I don't have any ill towards them, but they're they're hugely popular. Uh George is another one. George is another one. Um I'm oh, apparently R and Play is another one. But yeah, I think if they did those people, because I don't think those people are assigned to uh to Twitch. And Minecraft is just such a massive and strong community. Tommy's another one. Tommy is another one. And look at these people, like 74k average, like I don't know. I don't think that is the deal, though, because these creators are kind of in their own circle, the Minecraft streamers. I feel like they wouldn't be like, I don't think that would get back to someone like Moist Critical. Like, I don't think that they all talk, right? So that doesn't make I don't think um, I think that would be a good idea. Ranboo's another one. I think that'd be a good idea. Look at all these top Minecraft creators. Um, it would be good for, for YouTube to do that, but I don't think that is what Moist Critical is referring to. So Asmin Gold is massive. Um, I mean, that could be one, I think, potentially. Because Asmin Gold is kind of, um, I'm pretty sure Asmin Gold is, is pissed at Twitch. Let me zoom in here because I know it's small for you guys. Sorry. I know that there was like a clip of him getting like just kind of like annoyed by Twitch because they ha haven't offered him a contract, I'm pretty sure. Um... Asmin Gold Twitch contract. Yeah. What when did this come out? This was uh this was September. Yeah. Asmin Gold has revealed he may never sign an exclusive Twitch deal despite boasting nearly 2.4 million followers on the platform after the streaming giants. Power Brokers knocked back his requ request for a contract over brand concerns. Um, he's on currently on an indefinite hiatus from streaming. I didn't even know that. The famous World of Warcraft personality dropped a major bombshell about his future. He will never, he will likely never be exclusive to the Amazon owned streaming platform. So that could be an opportunity right there. That could be an opportunity for YouTube. Would that be shocking though? I mean, I don't think that'd be shocking. That personally, that's not shocking to me. Uh, again, all Minecraft is in the top 50. It's all Minecraft people, Minecraft, Minecraft. Tim is still on this list, but you know, he doesn't stream there anymore. Um, Austin, that Austin, I think is signed with Twitch or he is so ingrained with the Twitch community that that would surprise me because he doesn't do gaming either. He does like shows. So um, that would actually be really cool for you to, to take uh, Austin, but I think he's pretty ingrained. So that would surprise me. Miskiff could be someone because, um, again, it's that circle of people who talk, right? It's the circle of people who talk. So it's people in Moist Critical, Ludwig's rough circle of, of creators. So that could definitely be one of them, I think. Um, damn, Hassan, okay, that would, that would be super shocking. Does Hassan have a deal with Twitch? Hassan, Twitch, yeah, he does. He does have a Twitch deal. Um, yeah, he re-signed in September, 2020. Um, that would be really, that would shock me. So it, if it's only a one-year deal, Ko would be incredibly surprising, but he has a deal with Twitch. That was October, 2020. It's a multi-year deal. So I don't think it's Ko. I don't think Ko would leave anyways. 
I don't see Ko doing that. Ko's kind of like... in a very comfortable spot. I don't think he has a reason to like shake things up. Um... It could be, I, I mean, maybe Dan's gaming, but he's not like massive. You know, like, I don't know if he's not like, I, I don't think he'd be like, like, I don't think that's like a really like, you know, um, a, a, an earth shaking, groundbreaking move. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, he's OG, but he's not like, I don't know if he moved. I, I you know, it, it, he's kind of in on his own area. I, I don't think that makes sense. Nick Merckx, um, I think he just signed, didn't he? Nick Merckx. Something was out about him recently. Yeah, he just signed. The Nick Merckx Twitch deal is now the biggest deal ever between a streamer and a platform. That's, that's crazy. Shroud, I don't think, is leaving. I think Shroud did that once and, like, I think he's good. Hmm. It's not going to be Pokemon. I don't know. I think I think we got some pretty good theory crafting there. I think we did. Well, let me know what you guys think. Who do you think is is going to be leaving next? We know it's happening. We don't know when, but we definitely know it's several people happening. Um, so I'm definitely curious what your guys' thoughts are on this. So let me know. We can pretty safely say Trainwreck won't be moving on oh God. I don't think YouTube is gonna uh, like sign pretty safe people. Like, where are they going? To YouTube. Facebook hasn't really made a massive move in a bit. Um, I mean, they have not done, they, they let um, Disguise Toast go. What about that Loco streamer? <laughs> Loco is not leaving Twitch. I am not leaving Twitch. No. Uh, 